Hi, I'm Jessica Schur here with Her Flicks at Sundance 2014. Couldn't make it up to Sundance making that track. We have some wonderful interviews for you. Here we go. I'm here with Christina Kotlar, and we are here to talk about something very unique. You are reviewing. You have your own review blog, something you do all the time as far as like what you'd like to look at the world. What do you find in films that, um, that you'd like to tell their story and review what they're talking about? Well, my blog is Film Festival Reviews. I started it uh, eight years ago, and that's when I started coming out to Sundance. Mm. And I really follow the films made by women filmmakers and stories that are really film, you know, women-sensitive in a way. And I love Sundance because of the way it is such a convention of film makers, you know, and it doesn't matter you know, with the different types, you know, with the writers, producers, and the, and the directors, and I just track down the women directors, you know, and the women filmmakers, and the, everyone involved. So that is, uh, that is my blog, and I'm a real Jersey girl. That's where, you know, we get to talking about uh, the stories that come out of New Jersey, uh-huh. and one of the things I'm really proud of, you know, that uh, film festivals, not film festivals, but film really started in New Jersey. Before there was Hollywood, there was Fort Lee. It all started with Edison, who started with the making the film projectors and film cameras. And then the studios started in Fort Lee because you had everything there. You had the cliffs, you had the countryside. You know, so they made westerns. And they just had the ferries that came over from New York, day players. And the New Yorks uh, became starlets. And then they started giving the credits to people. So early times, you didn't know who the filmmakers were, but a lot of them were women. And there were a lot of women storytellers and a lot of women that were in the editing process. It was all an incredible incredible, incredible economic development of the area. When did Fort Lee uh, kind of shift towards Hollywood? It was after uh, World War I because they found that uh, you can go out to Hollywood and have a lot of sunshine. You didn't have to worry about the, the four seasons, which we all love. Right. In New right. Jersey. Any remnants of, of the old uh, Edison Hollywood? There is one one studio still left in Fort Lee, which they want to tear down and build some uh, a new house there in development. Fort Lee Film Commission is really trying to work and save it. But that is the original studio for Universal Pictures. The original thing is still there. You can find it. And this has been a Herflix moment.